Good morning, good morning, my beautiful people. This is John from USA Mode, and welcome back to Sunday Talk, episode number 174. In this episode, though, just like every week, I'm gonna go over five immigration questions I received from you guys regarding I 130 process. I have a new powerful code for you, and also we're gonna go over NVC update on uh, just for some of you guys on uh, who miss on uh, Tuesday update that I did. So, guys, uh, before I start today's video, I want to wish you guys happy Sunday. I hope your day is going well. If you are new here, my main goal is to help newcomers, permanent residents, and also U.S. citizens regarding the I-130 process, some other topics, especially any topic that will help newcomers to the United States of America to have a better life once they move to this country. So guys, uh, without wasting time here, let's start with the powerful code that I have for you today. Today's quote is coming from Martin Luther King. Here is the quote. I have held many things in my hands and I've lost them all. But whatever I have placed in God's hands, that I still possess. Again. I have held many things in my hands. I have lost all of them. I have lost them all, basically. But whatever I've placed in God's hands, that I still possess. I think it's a very beautiful and powerful quote. Just let me know in the description what do you think. Whatever you place in God's hand is still going to be there for you. So guys, now let's start with the questions that I have for you today. USA Mon. Uh, like I say, uh, I'm gonna go over five questions, uh, just like uh, every week. The first one is coming from Sajuta Jimal. And here's the question. Can you tell me, please, uh, I apply uh, I-134 more and uh, my receipt number start I O E. So somebody calls me. Uh, my service uh, center in Nebraska service center, and I receive mail from Texas service center. So I'm confused. Please, which is my service center? Hello, and thanks for the question. That's a good question. Normally, when you file a petition with uh, USCIS, uh, they don't call you. Okay, they will send you uh, like a. Uh, uh, a letter like an I-797 letter once they receive your case but they don't call you you have to be careful because there are a lot of scammers out there who will call you and ask you for some information like social security number all those stuff or send you an email you have to be careful I know when you uh, create um, an account for USCIS yes, and you provide your email address yes they will notify you if something changed or you still can log into your account to see what is going on but you know be careful when somebody call you saying that they're calling from USCIS. you have to be careful it's very important so to be sure which um, um, service center has your document you can contact on USCIS yourself you can contact USCIS yourself or check your the, uh, the mail that you receive from them your i-797 uh, letter they will put the uh, the service center information on that letter unless on uh, the transfer your uh, your case to another service center they're still gonna notify you you know again if you have uh, you already created an account with USCIS, just log in to check the status and that way you will know for sure if they transfer your case uh, or you can uh, contact uh, USCIS on uh, just like uh, I said okay so let's move to the second question of today's video. This one is coming from Daddy. By the way, I don't provide any legal advice. If you want a legal advice, you need to contact uh, like um, an immigration attorney or lawyer. Okay. So the second question is coming from Daddy. Here's the question. Hello, John. I have a question. What if your spouse already uploaded on the 2020 tax return on uh, on CEA, which is Computer Electronic Application Center? and uh, everything was documentary approved well, when going to when going for the interview do they now need to send you their most recent on 2021 tax return 
will the embassy ask for the most recent uh, 2021 tax returns also is there any difference between federal income tax uh, extension and uh, federal income tax returns uh, thanks thank you well when you like when the petitioner uh, submit uh, a tax return let's say you say for 2021 if the 20 uh, for 2020 if uh, 2021 tax return is needed nvc will contact you guys or the u.s consulate will contact you and ask you to bring it to the energy but if they didn't contact you i don't think uh, you have to but it won't hurt anything if you have that document with you okay you won't hurt anything if i were you i just gonna you know take with me in case uh, the consular officer the interviewer asks you you just present that okay so as far as uh, federal tax uh, federal income tax uh, extension and federal income tax return well you file an extension if you cannot file your tax return by the due date normally it's like around april 15 if you cannot file your tax return by april 15 you file for tax uh, return extension okay that's the only difference if you don't meet if you cannot uh, if you are not ready by the due date then you have to file uh, uh, tax uh, uh, income tax extension okay let's move to the third question of today's video this one is coming from father rax here is the question hello i'm f4 category i got my schedule already for any of you should i also tell them uh, i have a pending application f3 category if they ask me if uh, i ever apply a visa before well thanks for the question uh, well one thing you have to know is that i cannot tell you what you're gonna say at the end of you okay so one thing i can tell you is that when you go to the interview you need to tell the truth because the interviewer the consular officer they already know some of the stuff before you get it and they will ask you a question about that if you're lying they will know if you're telling the truth they will know you know like in this case you say you have a f3 uh, um a category application pending well they i'm sure they already know that before you even go to the interview just tell the truth that's all i can tell you okay let's move to the fourth question of today's video this one is coming from monty ali here's the question i i include a few on uh, pay stops onto my nvc portal should that be enough for, for evidence of income or do we also need to add the employer letterhead as well in other words in is just one good enough or do we need to include both things what well, thanks for the question um, so this is basically a question uh, the viewer asked um, when i made a video about what type of um, uh, income document to submit to nvc when they ask you to submit the uh, income uh, document okay because some, a lot of people are making them you know getting confused they think that the uh, tax return document is the income document nvc is asking for no you can for income uh, uh, proof of income basically for proof of income you can send your uh, pay stop or a letter from your employer on uh, the company letterhead with uh, company information you know all your information as well okay but you don't have to send both of them just one will be enough so let's move to the last question of today's video this one is coming from uh, loveline ebates here's the question hi uh, what if uh, you add uh, the affidavit of support document and proof of status uh, while submitting it it says uh, nvc system unable to scan document what to do what do you do please well uh, thanks for the question that's a good question a lot of people uh, got those uh, error message uh, when they submit their document to uh, actually they uploading their document to nvc computer electronic application center so one thing you can do is to wait a few hours okay because sometimes it can be just glitches on the website or you know or you know you can log out if you log out and log back in you still have the same problem just wait like uh you know one or two hours and then try it again if you still you know you still getting the same error message wait 
and uh, try it again next day okay you should it should be fine by next day okay but in case you're still getting the same error message you need to contact nvc okay you need to let them know or you can switch browser as well okay sometimes when you switch browser that helps okay so basically that's all i have for you as far as uh, questions those five uh, questions that i, I pick um, you know among all the questions uh, you send me and now let's talk about nvc update of uh, this week and uh, before I, I talk about that i want to put this out there some of you guys uh, you need to stop comparing your immigration uh, process with uh, somebody else's uh, immigration i mean immigrant visa process with somebody else's immigrant visa process because sometimes uh, you are not in the same category with the other person but it's, it's not because the person say oh i just get any of your appointment and you think that oh why you didn't get your interview appointment at uh, the same time this person is getting uh, his or her interview appointment okay sometimes the countries are different visa uh, categories are different you know you know there are a lot of stuff on uh, uh, that that contribute to the delay of your process you know some visa category process are, are long especially like an uh, f4 category for example it's a long process it can take 17 years and sometimes up to 20 years okay but if you're comparing that to somebody else who is in maybe in f1 category and that person get uh, an interview appointment like, uh, like uh, maybe a year or almost maybe a year and a half after they um they started the, the process i want to process you're gonna get frustrated for nothing because you know the, the process time are different okay so i just want to put this out there so some of you guys you know just be patient as long as you submit all your document you know, your document are document to qualify i mean your case is document to qualify you just have to keep waiting okay so this week on nvc announced on the website that they are uh, working on cases to receive from uscs on september 30th okay some of you guys will receive your a welcome letter soon or some of you guys won't be able to receive your welcome letter until your priority becomes uh, current okay or sometimes uh, when you contact nvc you can contact them they will give you your case number invoice id but if your priority date is not current you won't be able to start the immigrant visa process okay but most of the most of people or most of visa applicant or who are immediate or related will get their welcome letter you know, sooner and then uh, once you get your welcome letter what you're gonna do you're gonna you know pay fees on some document and nvc will review those document this week they announced on the website that they are reviewing document they received from uh, you guys uh, on september 8th uh, 2022 okay once they review everything they will let you know whether or not you are document to qualify and then the third update uh, regarding the uh, inquiries they announced on the website that they are responding to inquiries they received from you guys on your visa applicant on september 24 2022 make sure you check your invoice sometimes you check your uh, spam folder to see if nvc send you an email okay so i think that's it for today's video that's all i have for you i hope you learned something from this video or if you know somebody you think uh, will benefit from the video well go ahead and share the video with that person not only by you sharing the video with that person but you helping the channel to grow as well okay if you uh, wanna be the first person to be notified after i upload a video well click on the bell if you want to subscribe to this channel because you like what i'm doing here you know you like some of the video go in and click the subscribe button you know below this video that way you're gonna be part of for this uh, uh, youtube um, family usm on family and also if you want to support this channel because some of you guys don't want to support the channel but you don't know what to do well now there are super thanks button below every video you can click on it to support the channel once again my name is john whatever you do today do it peacefully you know don't stress yourself out thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in another video usm Monday.